welcome to my channel my name is truf kailash today we will be discussing multiple linear regression let us discuss multiple linear regression today that is predicting the value of the dependent variable y based on multiple independent variables here i am importing all the required packages i am using the same data set which was used for the simple linear regression that was discussed in our previous session this data set df underscore house is having 21613 entries and 21 columns here i am dropping the id column and date column since those columns are not required for modeling we need to choose independent variables that we think will be good predictors for the dependent variable y. Here, our dependent variable is the price variable. I am creating a correlation plot to check the correlation between the variables and the price variable. Here we can see many variables are correlated with the price variable. For example, bathrooms, square feet living, grade, square feet above, etc. I am using backward elimination to select the independent variables. In backward elimination, we start the full model that is including all the independent variables and then we remove the insignificant variable with highest p-value that is the p-value greater than 0 0.05. Let us implement backward elimination using a built-in function sequential feature selector. Let us define x and y now. Sequential feature selector function is available in mlextend library. You can Use pip install command to install mlextend library. I am importing sequential feature selector and also linear regression. Sequential feature selector function accepts the following major arguments. Linear regression, k features, forward, floating and cv. Linear regression function is an estimator for the entire process. K features indicates the number of features to be selected. Here, forward is equal to false and floating is equal to false. These are used for the backward selection techniques. CV argument is for k-fold cross-validation. Let us use this SBS created and fit X and Y. We can use K underscore features underscore names to get the important features. Here we can see that these are the important features which can be used for our modeling. I am creating the x variable again by selecting only these variables. Let us create the train and test set now. I am creating a linear regression object lintrec. Then I am using linear regression object to feed the train data that is x train and y train. We can create y predicted using the x test. Now I am checking the r square score. Here the r square score is 0 0.686. This means that our model is able to predict 68.6 percentage of the variability in the house prices. Now let us see how to use starts model for Implementing linear regression. I am importing stats model.apl first. 
we can use sm.ols function and fit x and y. OLS stands for ordinary least squares and the method least squares means that we are trying to fit a regression line that would minimize the square of the distance from the regression line. We can see the model summary now. DF residuals and DF models relate to the degree of freedom that is the number of values in the final calculation of the statistics that are free to vary. Here we can see that this model has a much higher R square value that is 0 0.904. This means that our model is a able to explain 90.4% of the variance in our dependent variable price. Also we can see that the selected variables are statistically significant in predicting the house price. That's all for today's session. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe my channel. Bye! Enjoy coding with me, Dhruv!